So today is my last video here at Kittle. Wait, 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 wait. Here, at this location. We're moving to a new location, getting an office. Super great. We're gonna be moving there over the next couple of days. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Our setup is just gonna be nicer as well as the videos are just gonna be nicer. A couple weeks ago, our awesome replace feature came out. Drew did a video on that already. You can find that and watch that here where he goes a little bit more in depth into things and explains the logic of how it works and why it's super useful. It's already highly acclaimed. People love it if you haven't tried it definitely go try out that feature. Today, we're gonna to be going through a couple more practical applications of this, as well as me showing some of my favorite things about the replace feature that maybe you didn't know. So I've started with a blank document here. And the first thing I'm gonna do for this demonstration is generate a couple of different AI images. So I'm gonna to go to the image generator and I'm just going to type in cute dog and then for this i'm going to do our kawaii icon preset something also to note as well is our image generator v1 has changed to turbo and v2 is advanced so we had gotten some complaints about the first generation image generator not being as good as the second that makes sense logically but we have made some crazy improvements to the generation one the v1 or now called the turbo image generator so we're going to use the turbo image generator click our kawaii icon style also another thing that's been frequently asked is how do i make sure that my ai generations aren't shared publicly right here right under where you put your uh your prompt in there is a little checkbox that says public mode. If you check that on, your generations will be available to all Kittle users. If you want that to happen, if you don't want that to happen, boop, just make sure that's off and your generations will stay with you and only with you. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple generations here. We're going to do cute dog. That's way faster than the original one. Let's do cute cat. And then we'll do cute bird. Let's just do three for this one. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use our nifty background remover tool, which I also did a video on that and you can find that here. I'm just going to remove the backgrounds of all of these clip arts with one click. As you can see, they are now cleanly removed from the backgrounds and can be used in whatever you like, whether that's POD or simple designs or complex design, anything you like. So here are my three AI renders with the backgrounds removed. And so for this example, I'm just gonna assume that I'm like an Etsy shop owner. I do POD or I print things myself. And I'm just gonna make a little t-shirt design. So I'm gonna find a fun little font. And I'm just gonna type in, this is my, we can size that up some just the spacing a little bit. This is all personal preference. Then I'm going to copy that down and remove this transformation and type in spirit in a mole. Close the letter spacing on that. Maybe size that down quite a bit. And let's just say that this is my text layout for this shirt. Center that up and let's just start with our cat here. Make sure that looks good and centered on this design. Maybe I could size this up a little bit. And so, boom, we've got one design done. What I can do is copy and paste this artboard. And normally what I would have to do is, you know, bring this guy over here, place it in the middle, size it up to where like it looks about the same and then try to select the other one behind it and delete it. And that's just kind of annoying. So we're gonna try something different with the replace feature. We're going to click this guy and then in our uploads, you can go to your folders and there's a folder here called clipped images. This is things that you have removed the background from. Folders, clipped images, we have our three icons right here. 
and I can just have this selected, boop, replace, and there you go. If I want to, I could select this guy, size it up a little bit to make sure it looks consistent, uh, but nonetheless, a time saver. So we're gonna repeat that again, duplicate the artboard, select this guy, boop, replace. Quick and easy. Just for fun, I removed the background of one of Drew's cats here, and I'm gonna click this guy, and boop, replace, there's, there's Tara. This would be a hilarious, hilarious shirt. Maybe I could adjust this bird a little bit, but just like that, boom, four t-shirt designs done. And this is just a great way to kind of crank out listings or designs where most of the design stays the same and you're really just changing one, two or three elements. Now, another awesome application of this is let's say you had this and you wanted to do four different text variations. And you could say, this is my spirit animal. This is my favorite animal. You could say, this is my cute pet, whatever your text is, favorite thing. So now this is kind of an opposite scenario where in the first one, the, the text stayed the same on all four and we we're changing, replacing the image. Now the text is changing and we want to replace all four to the same image. One, two, three, four, click, done. So you can click multiple items at one time and boom, replace them with one click huge 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 time saver and really the only way that you're going to be able to be rest assured that that positioning of that object is exactly the same on all artboards short of only doing one changing the text copying that over change the text copy that over which you could do that too but this is kind of defining a scenario where you'd want to select multiple things boom change them all over so for example i could just one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, and I could select this, boop, and all of them change to Drew's very, very annoying cat. This is a huge time saver. We're gonna be making multiple more updates to this, like being able to replace grouped objects. We're gonna be able to replace objects that have effects on them, like different shadow, fill, stroke, all that kind of thing. So you have a square that has a red stroke and then a red glow to it, but it's a white shape. And you just wanna replace that with a circle that has the same attributes that will be available to you as well. Well, that is all for today's video. Man, I hope this was helpful to you. This replace feature has saved me personally a lot of time and others a lot of time as well. If you haven't tried Kittle yet, you can sign up today for free to try it. And if you're on a free Kittle plan right now and you want to upgrade to a pro or an expert plan, get a little more features, a little more beefy design time, use the promo code in the description of this video to get a percentage off your upgraded plan. Before you go, like, comment, subscribe to the video. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.